says that in their local masjid, or he went to a masjid and joined the salat, only to find that the imam does not recite the Fatiha well. So is my prayer valid? This is an issue of dispute among scholars. Why? The Fatiha is a pillar of Salat. And if you make a simple mistake, that might be accepted. But if you make a serious mistake, then you have a problem, especially with the Fatiha. So the scholars say that whoever does not pronounce the Fatiha well, his prayer is invalid. This is one opinion. Um, how, what do you mean by doesn't pronounce it well? Whoever says, instead of saying, Iyaka na'bud, Iyaka, with stressing it, he says, Iyaka na'bud, Iyaka. And this is different. If he says, Iyaki na'bud, wa Iyaki nasta'in, this is feminine. And you cannot be addressing Allah in a feminine form. May Allah be exalted. So they said that such mistakes and errors nullify your prayer altogether and those behind him. Other scholars, they elaborate. They say if the imam, if the individual leading is capable of reciting it well, but he made this mistake, then the prayer is invalid. But if the imam himself is unable to do otherwise, he says, Sirat al an'amt an'amta alayhim. Sirat al It's not, it's, it's Sirat al an'amta. He says, an'amta, an'amta. Now, this is totally distorted in Arabic. Arabs listen to this and they laugh their heads off. What is this? But if the individual, due to his language or ethnicity, is unable to say this, he can't say Abdalin. He says Abdalin. What do we do with him? Shoot him with an eight gauge? No. What we do is we apply Allah's beautiful words, where Allah says, "La yukallifullahu nafsan illa usaha." Allah does not burden a soul beyond its ability. And if the man is unable to do anything better, this means that his prayer is valid. And those praying behind him, their prayer is valid. However, it, he should not come forward and lead. He should look before he leads. And if there are people who pray better than him, he should let them lead. Otherwise, he would be sinful for that.